Good morning everyone. My name is Sriyansh Mathema and this is the first demo of my project Smart Traffic Light Control System. My project is based on image processing technique and the hardware I have used is Raspberry Pi and USB cameras. So let's get started. So this is the model that I have prepared. My project is div divided into three stages. The first is image processing unit, the second is priority evaluation and the third is decision making stage. Under the first stage that is the image processing unit. The web cameras placed on each side of the road captures the image of its respective road. Then comes the priority evaluation stage. The priority is evaluated by using the number of car count and the last time the traffic light turned on for that side of the road. After the priority is evaluated, then comes the decision making state. Thank you. So first of all, the system is in default stage where the traffic light for road A is only turned to green and the traffic light for road B, C, D are turned to red. This is the default stage of the program. Whenever I put the number of cars, let's say I put two cars on road B. The image is acquired from this camera. Yes, and the traffic light for road B is turned to green. So whenever the vehicle passes from here, and let's say I put three cars on road C. The image is acquired from this camera. It takes some time. Yes. And the traffic light for road C is turned to green, as you can see here. Whenever the, whenever the vehicle passes, and I, when I put the number of cars on road D, this is road D, The image is acquired from that camera. And the uh, yes, and the traffic light is for road D is turned to green. Let's suppose if the scenario is quite like this. Mm, okay, let me put four cars on road C. Okay, the traffic light for road B has been turned on. So let's suppose if there are four cars on road C and one car on road A. So less as I was expecting, the traffic light for road A has been turned on because the traffic light for road A was turned to red for a long period of time and it hadn't got its turn. So it got its turn for turning the light to green and yes and the traffic light for road C has been turned to green by counting the number of cars on that road thank you so much hello guys this is the demo for controlling the emergency vehicle on the road so let's suppose if the scenario is quite like this I've supposed Suppose uh, this uh, now for now as an emergency ve emergency vehicle, which is on road D, and there is a traffic congestion on road A, B, and C, as you can see here. So for controlling the emergency vehicles, that is the traffic light. When an emergency vehicle comes, I've made an I've made an uh, manual system for controlling the emergency vehicle from the control room server control room. So this is my server room for now. That is the control room. Control server, you can say. So I can control the traffic lights from here when an emergency vehicle comes on the road. So. Uh, so I've uh, named the 
the manual system to uh, as a main module that pi so when i run this yes so for uh, so for now i have to turn the traffic light for road d to turn uh, to green to turn to green because there is uh, the emergency vehicle is on road d and it should uh, it needs to be passed from there so for for this for doing this i'll input some values on the manual system here the side zero is for road a so for this to turn uh, i have to turn the road a to red so for this i'll i'll input the value to zero and for road b again zero road c zero and for road d i'll input the value to one to turn the traffic light to green okay as you can see here the traffic light for road d has been turned to green and the emergency vehicle will pass from here okay this was a demo for the controlling the emergency vehicle from the central server room thank you so much